Hello everyone, this is Eric Regit505. Okay, so what we got here today, um, you know, I start doing some reloading and certain thing it's very hard to get. So um, I'm working on my 338 Lapoa reloading and then I purchased this uh, Lehman trimmer and it's supposed to be supposedly very good, but there is a couple issues. Uh, first of all, when you buy this, <clears throat> they provide you uh, all those dies and the biggest one is going to be number 23 now number 23 on this and you can see there is place for more dies that they can just give you but they don't want to um, instead of charging more money and giving you all the dies that you need they're playing the stupid game of oh yeah um, all those this one we give you and you can uh, get the rest so I need a 338 Lapoa and 338 Lapoa is number 24 24 is not available. So beside of whatever they have marked here in orange, nothing is actually available right now. So the situation is it's created that I have a device that cannot do the bullets that I need. Now, I did succeed to take one of those, 23, and if you take the Lapoa, the 338 Lapoa, it will fit. The problem is that the machine here is not deep enough when you plug it in, it will not going to go all the way through. And then what will happen is the cutter blade not touching your bullet and it's not, it's not getting you wherever you need to go. So it is fit, it's fit perfectly. But again, the neck, the piece of neck that come in here will not let you reach the blade, uh, no matter what adjustment you do. Uh, I think it's pretty pretty much stupid and I understand there is a shortage and there is Corona and it, this story is already going for two years with the, with the Corona. Uh, those parts to making a machine, they can make a thousands of those an hour. And I don't think that there's a thousand people that need those, okay? Now, so I decided to make one myself. So I jump on my computer and I 3D print an adapter for myself. So this is something that I did myself uh, with a 3D printer. It looks exactly the same and it just longer and what all I need to do is take my bullet put it inside and it's straight and it's actually the funny thing is that this is actually holding the bullet more firmer and straight than actually the aluminum parts that they have so now let's put it into work and see how it's going to work okay so I just want to prove and then if you need a file for this um, I can, if you and you have a 3D printer, I can send you the file for this. Just contact me over there on the on the messages below. Uh, let's do this real quick. So, 338 Lapoa need to be in a size of um, two inch 726. Okay, so when you measure the bullet right now, always take your caliber and hold it together. And then zero it because sometime when they move, they change and open it up. And I know it's not the best caliber, but it's doing the job. Um, you can see right now that we are at 234, okay? And then if you turn it, it's going to keep changing. Each time you measure a different location, it's going to change. So we need to start removing some, uh, but we don't want to remove too much. Now, I have another one here. I'm going to close it and then measure another one that is the right size just to show so this is actually uh, two, se uh, 2 inch 725 when it's supposed to be 26 so it's okay because it can be like plus minus 2 so it's, it's perfect okay so let's go back to this one close it again open it again make sure that the measurement is again the high measurement so we're not trimming something uh, the wrong way okay so this is what we need right now to do now we have here the lemon tool i'm going to remove this this is just a dust cover and then i already open and i remove the spring that go inside this is to change the pieces so this is going to go right there on top of that we're going to put the tools that i just made and you can see that it's kind of the springs will push it back when you put some stress on it and then this is the device that actually locking it into place. And then it still have the movement that I need. Now, 
What we're gonna do is that. Let's see that the camera will catch it. Okay, if I put the bullet in and I push it, I can actually touch the blade already. So I can actually do that. And then I can bring the blade closer over there. So the blade inside right now just got closer and then let's start. So I'm gonna turn it on and just push it just tiny. That's it. So it's streamed it right now. Let's go and check it, see if it's not uh, too small. It's still big, it's still uh, 235. So it's heated, but it still did not heat en enough. But I rather measure it a couple times than ruin like a good, a good cartridge. Let's turn it in higher speed. And then what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna actually bring the blade toward the bullet. That's it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think I cut it a little bit too short. Yeah, I push it too strong and I push it like to 220 uh, instead of 226, but it is working. I just have to adjust this to what I need and make it a smaller increment and this is just working fine. So the problem is that when you don't have those parts, you have to kind of create your own tin and it's a pain in the butt to do those things when when you know like this thing supposed to be come with those parts so this is just a short lesson about how to make something yourself again yeah i messed it up i, I push it too strong a little bit but there's an adjustment over here i just did it for the video just to show you that it's like it's holding the the bullet for us see you in my next video don't forget to like subscribe and share and if you have any question, uh, just let me know. And I'm going to show another video like how we're doing this from beginning to end, actually. And I'm going to put a link right on this video. Bye.